I guess this will be like the first installment in my uh, Land Rover series of videos. Um, right now I'm just in my barn here. You can see some of the spare parts up there. Uh, that's the windscreen, two wings, a uh, seat box, uh, and some other miscellaneous bits, bonnet. Um, basically I bought the Land Rover a while back now, uh, last fall. Um, just getting started working on some of the spare parts. I haven't brought it home yet. The vehicle itself, don't have any room. But it came with a spare tire with a uh, split rim on it. It's a bolt type. You can see the all eight of the lugs around the outside. Uh, got them cracked off with my wife the other day, uh, about a week or two ago now. Uh, I just haven't got them split, so come out here once or twice. Uh, Giving them a good squirt with uh, penetrating oil and WD-40. Basically whatever I had on hand. Um, haven't tried to knock it loose yet. I'm going to try pressing them apart. Got to press. Be a bit weird, but see what we can do. A bit far from the house, so I'm going to try and take the tire up uh, from using the tractor instead of uh, rolling it. It's also full of water if you do it right. I don't know if you can hear it sloshing or not. But yeah, it's got a decent amount of water in it. It's pretty heavy. So, that's today's task. Um, yeah. Something else to notice is all the paint that's on here. It's been a few different colors. I'm shooting this with my phone, by the way, so video quality might or may not be pretty poor. But uh, you see all the paint that's on here? Seen a few different colors over the years. Looks like it was red at one point. I think I might turn it that back that color, but it's got some uh, tags on here with the writing. I don't know what it says yet. Have to clean them up, but all in all, not too rusty. But uh, you can see yeah, the paint was on there pretty good. That's from uh, the side of the tire somewhere. Like on one of the studs, but yeah. Just wanted to point that out. That was cool. Well, it looks like I didn't even have to uh, try and figure out how to wrangle this big old tire on the press because it looks like with some just a uh, dental tappity tap with this thing, so I couldn't find a hammer. It looks like I'm making some progress. That yeah, the rim here looks a little bit out, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's starting to push the paint up a bit where it's moving. So. Guess I'll just try tap, keep tapping around. Well, that one's on there. Oh. Looks like it's trying to come. Guess we'll just keep going. I'm pretty sure we got separation of some sort. You watch those lug nuts. I don't know if you can see that. When I put the tire down, you got a gap. Yeah. Think she's loose on that side anyways. Yeah, I think she's good. 
I'm going to pop the lugs off and try a separator. Okay, so I've got the lugs all off. Let's see what we got. <sighs> Definitely loose. Looks like I'll need some more work though. Get the bead off, I think. So tube tires, so I don't expect it to be terribly terrible. Sun setting, but I wanted to show you this. I don't know how well you can see it, but you look in there. Can you see all that water in the bottom? Yeah, good stuff. Well, this is what I'm up to, so I'll just. So, uh, basically, I didn't know at the time that I was recording on my phone, and apparently, it with whatever settings I had, it only records for about five minutes and then stops. So I got cut off there. But basically what I'm doing is trying to break the bead off using a large C-clamp and a whole bunch of other parts that I've laying around. You can see a wrench there. There's a steel block that I'm using to push on it with. The, actually, the other half of the split rim is being held up by it right now. And just keep going around prying on it. I believe I said earlier that it shouldn't be that hard being a uh, tubeless tire or tube type tire. That thing was a pain in the ass because of all the water that was stuck in there. You could see it right there actually. Um, basically rusted the bead onto the rim. So it was a bear to get off and yeah, you can see the rust. That's the that's the worst rust right there, where it's actually eaten through over by the valve stem a bit. But I still got it apart in the end, and uh, well, you can see the top ring off up there. There's a little bit better picture of it. This is like at night, and I didn't actually film any more because I was just glad to get the thing apart and go in and eat some dinner. And you can see the uh, blocks I've got trying to pull the tire off the other bead, or the bead off the other side of the rim. There's the top half of the rim, the ring part that has the studs on it. That gets bolted to the other, the other half that's got the uh, part where you, the lug nuts go onto the wheel. Now I took this thing apart back in something like March. It's October now and I finally got it back together so I guess that'll be the next video.